Well, good morning. How is everybody doing? Did everybody get their proper rest last night? Now, you know it's important for us to get our proper rest. And I must say, uh, last night was the first night that I really got, since I've been back home, that I really got a, a full night's sleep without waking up during the night. So it's a blessing. I'm praying that everybody is getting their rest. Well, y'all, before we get into what we're getting into, let me tell you what I'm drinking. This morning, y'all, I juiced carrots, oranges, and celery, honey. And I put a drop, oh, and I also juiced ginger. And then I put a drop of frankincense, honey, essential oil in here. Yes, I did. And I put a sprinkle of turmeric. You know, turmeric and frankincense helps with inflammation. Like if you have sciatica, things like that is what it's. Now, I'm not a doctor. And I don't play one on television. But this is what the instructions say. And this is what, you know, the people say. All right. So this is what I'm having today, y'all. I'm having oranges, celery, and here it is, y'all. And carrots. So that's orange, celery, carrots, a drop of frankincense essential oil, and a sprinkle of turmeric. So let's see, y'all. I made a concoction this morning, didn't I? Now that's good. You taste that ginger? As I juice some ginger in here, you taste that ginger. I like it. But I should have put a green apple in here. Oh, man, that would have sent it over the top. Oh, yeah, I like that. Mmm. Y'all, this is good. That's carrot, orange, ginger, uh, one sprig of celery, and a drop of frankincense essential oil, and a sprinkle of turmeric, y'all. Mm-hmm. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get into what we're getting into. Y'all, welcome to the garden. Welcome back, y'all. I know I've been out, I've been off the grid and I've been trying to, to take care of business and do what I need to do. Y'all, it's a lot. Uh, with my mom passing, it, it, life is just so different. But we go through each day and we do what we have to do, right? Well, y'all, let's go ahead and get into what we're getting into. This morning, I thought about something. There's so much going on in the world and so much going on in these YouTube streets and the Facebook streets and Instagram streets. It's so much going on. People are getting drugged left and left and right. People are getting dogged out, talked about, harassed, bullied, whatever you want to call it. But they, their business is out on the street and people is taking their business and running with it. So I wanted to come into the garden this morning before I left out of here. And I wanted to come in and encourage us on today. Because people are talking about people so bad. Everybody got something going on in their lives. Well, y'all know the hot topic is Mr. Derek Jackson. And he is the hot topic of the, of the month. Last last couple of months, it was Kirk Franklin. Now it's Derek Jackson and, and all of his situation that's going on with he and his family. But I just wanted to come in and, and say, y'all, don't kick a man when he's down. It made me think about some different scriptures in the Bible, story in the book. Yeah, y'all, it's in the book. Come on, y'all. Come on with me down and, and let's go ahead and talk about this story in the book. In this story in the book, there was a king named Saul. And Saul was a wicked king. So Saul went to battle against the Philistine army. And when Saul found out that he was losing, the battle was getting rough, Saul said, wait a minute, are they getting ready to kill me? I can't, hold on y'all, because somebody want to visit in the garden again. So Saul was like, okay, no, nope, you play with a puppy, he'll lick you in the mouth. So Saul was like, oh Lord, we losing, the, the gig is up, they getting ready to capture me. So he looked at his armor barrel and he was like, I need you to kill me. The armor bearer was like, no, I can't kill you. No, sir. No, sir. Saul's two sons had died. They had gotten killed in the battle against the Philistines. And so Saul saw they, they was lost. There was no hope. And he was getting ready to die. So Saul said, just kill me now. Kill me now. Just take my sword and kill me. The armor bearer said, no, sir. No, sir. Not so. I will not kill you. So the book goes on to say that Saul fell on his sword and died. Honey, and then his armor bearer. He saw Saul's sons, and he saw Saul dead on his sword. He fell on his sword, too. Uh, not so. The devil is alive. I'm going to ride with you, but I ain't going to die with you. Not until the Lord get ready to call me home. Okay? So that's what happened to Saul. I thought about another story in the book. It was about another man named Saul, but this was not the king Saul. This was in the New Testament Saul. This was Saul that he was going persecuting the saints. Hey, y'all heard about that? She wants to lay back, y'all. I don't know what, what is the deal with her. She likes to lay back. 
Anyway, y'all, so, so what happened was Saul had a letter and Saul was going to persecute the, the saints, honey. He could do whatever he wanted. He can kill them. He can, he can put them in prison. He can beat them. Whatever Saul, excuse me, y'all, <clears throat> whatever Saul wanted to do, he could do. He had that letter. He had the power. He had the authority to persecute and terrorize the Christians. Well, Saul was on his horse, honey, and he was on his way to, on the road to Damascus because he was going to Damascus. To do some damage to the Christians, honey. But on the road to Damascus, he a bright light shines from heaven. And he got knocked off his beast. <laughs> honey, he fell to the ground. All of a sudden, the voice of the Lord started talking to him. The people that was riding with him, honey, they couldn't hear the voices. They didn't even see the light. They didn't know what was going on. But Saul was on the ground. And he was like, Lord. He said, who, what, what's going on? Who, who, what's going on? And the Lord came to him and spoke to him through that bright light. And he said, Saul, don't know ye not that it is hard to kick against the prince? And he was like, who art thou, Lord? Uh, how about he knew who he was? Who art thou, Lord? He said, I am the Lord whom thou, whom thou prosecuted. Because don't you know, when you persecute and when you kick against and when you terrorize the saints, the Christians, the men and women of God, that you're actually not really against them, but you're really against the Most High that lives within them? For he said that, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God shall deliver them from them all. And he said, they that live godly shall suffer persecution. But you know what? God got our back. He got the Christians back, y'all. So it behooves us and behooves you. Stop picking on Christians. Stop picking on saved folks. Stop acting up, okay? But Saul was on that ground, honey. But when the light when the light shut off, honey, so did his eyesight. When Saul got up from that ground, they had to help him up because he couldn't see, y'all. He was blind. So they took him on into town, into Damascus. <laughs> and in Damascus was a, was a man named Ananias which was one of the saints that Saul was going to persecute, honey. The Spirit of the Lord spoke to him and said, I need you to go and lay hands on Saul. He was like, wait, on Saul? Uh-uh, I'm not laying hands on Saul. Saul came to put the paws on me. He came to throw us in prison. He came to terrorize us. You, you talking about Saul? You talking about the one with the authority, with the letter, with the ring from the king to come and terrorize the Christians? Lord, I'm... I, I, you couldn't have said Saul, but honey, the Most High was persistent. And so Ananias got a grip on him. He had to get, he had to get a hold of himself because he was scared. You would have been scared too. I know I would have been scared. Somebody coming to, to put the paws on me and put some knots, some may knots upside my head. You know, may knots, may knots, may heal, may not. Honey, so he had to go and be obedient to the voice and the will of the Most High. So he went and laid hands and he prayed for Saul because the Lord also told Saul that Ananias was going to come and pray for him. The same person he was going to persecute. So, honey, here was Saul down, honey. He was down. He couldn't see. He didn't have, he couldn't walk in that authority that he had. He was stripped of everything that he knew and treasured was his knowledge. He still had his knowledge because he was raised up in the book. He knew the book, y'all. He knew the law, but he also had power from the people of in high places to persecute the saints and to kill them, to maim them, to put them in prison, to lay the paws on them. Whatever he wanted to do, he had the authority to do, but he couldn't do it now because he was blind and he was helpless and he had to be led around. He had to be helped. So as he sat there in the dark, not being able to see, Ananias came and laid hands on him and the Most High restored his sight. Now Ananias could have just dis been disobedient and refused to go and pray for him, refused to do what the Most High had called him to do because Saul had done a lot of damage. Saul had hurt a lot of people. Saul had threw a lot of Christians in prison. However, Ananias obeyed the voice of God and he went and laid hands on him. And after he laid hands on him and the Lord restored his sight, Honey, not only did he restore his sight, but he changed who he was. He, his name was changed from Saul to Paul, one of the greatest men in the Bible. So I came into the garden this morning to encourage us. Don't kick a man when he's down, honey. Pray for him in his sorrow, for this is a funny world. He may be down today, but you might be down tomorrow. So when people are down and going through, even if they have persecuted you, even if you felt like they was full of pride and they were narcissistic and they were, they were self-righteous, no matter what we feel about that person, restore that person in the spirit of meekness because we never know. It is a funny world. He might be down today. Derrick Jackson might be going through today, and some of the other ones may be going through today, but today is their day. But if you were going through, if you had messed up, if you had just blatant out sin, or if you had fallen off, or if you have fallen and you can't get up, 
How would you want people to respond to you? How would you want the world to react to your situation? Because anybody can have a situation any given day of the week. But since today is his day, why not extend some grace, y'all? So think about it. Think about, I want you to think about the most embarrassing thing that you ever did. Think about some of the, the your secret things, the, the secret things that you're not sharing with anybody. And what if the whole world knew about it? Or what if 10 people knew about it? Or three? What would you want them to do? Would you want them to spread it all over the internet, all over YouTube, all over Facebook, all over Instagram? Or would you want them to extend you some grace? Remember, Saul's armor bearer, he refused. Saul was down. The battle was over. The fight was done. He was getting ready to be killed, but he did not want to be taken into custody of the enemy because he knew he would be tortured very severely before they even killed him and took off his head. So he elected to do something that is ungodly and unthinkable, which it was to fall on his sword. But before he did, he asked his armor bearer, kill me, just off me, just put me out of my misery. The armor bearer said, no. Never kick a man when he's down. He could have easily ran the sword through him, but he didn't do it. So I want to encourage us on today. Don't do it. If somebody is down, if somebody is hurting, let us show love. The books say, with love and kindness, have I drawn thee. Let us show love. Now, there are some times when we have to show love and move on. We can't stay in a situation because it takes, sometimes change is gradual for people. Unlike Saul, when the, when the Lord sent Ananias, he got, he received his sight he had a change of heart, he had a change of mind, and he began to run on for the Lord, and he never stopped. But everybody don't have an immediate transformation. So pray for him and move on. You don't have to stay in their company, but when the Lord changed him, he will change him. When Saul went to the disciples, they hollered, Peter and all them, they was like, mm, I don't know, you the same Saul, I don't know. So it took a while, but give people a chance. Be merciful, extend grace. So I just wanted to come into the garden to encourage us, y'all. When people fall or when people make mistakes or when they just go out and do wrong, don't be so hard on them because it could easily be one you or I. So let's show love. Let's show compassion. And I just wanted to say, never kick a man when he's down. Pray for him in his sorrows, for this is a funny world. He might be down today, but you might be down tomorrow. All right, y'all, if y'all are watching this video by way of YouTube, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe and share this video. Now, if you have not subscribed to the video, why not? Come on, y'all. Come on, subscribe to the video. And if you're watching me by way of YouTube, by way of Instagram, don't forget to follow me. All right, and I won't lead you wrong. If you're watching this, watching by way of Facebook, Come on and give it a thumbs up and share the video. Do you know somebody that went through some things? Or maybe you went through some things and you got your own secrets. You didn't want nobody to know what's going on. You wouldn't want nobody to drag you. So don't be dragging, folks, y'all. Don't get on that bandwagon. Don't get on the bandwagon and start dragging, folks. But I know it gets clicks. I know it gets views. But don't do it, y'all, because think about it. What if it was you? All right? So, y'all, let's do our affirmation this morning. I am what the Word of God says I am. I am healthy. I am wealthy and I am whole. So don't forget, don't drag people. Extend grace and extend grace. You got it on purpose until the next upload. Later, y'all.